हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ तृप्ति मिश्रा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन एंड मैनेजमेंट पार्ट टू आवर टुडेज टॉपिक इज एग्रीकल्चरल प्रैक्टिसेस कल्टीवेशन ऑफ क्रॉप्स इन्वॉल्व सेवरल एक्टिविटीज अंडरटेकन बाय फार्मर्स ओवर ए पीरियड ऑफ टाइम दीज एक्टिविटीज और टास्क आर रेफर टू एज एग्रीकल्चरल प्रैक्टिसेस दीज एक्टिविटीज आर फर्स्ट प्रिपरेशन ऑफ सॉइल देन सेकेंड सोइंग थर्ड एडिंग मेन्योर एंड फर्टिलाइजर फोर्थ इरीगेशन फिफ्थ प्रोटेक्टिंग फ्रॉम वीड्स सिक्स हार्वेस्टिंग एंड सेवंथ स्टोरेज नाउ वी विल डिस्कस ईच ऑफ दीज एक्टिविटीज वन बाय वन in today's topic we can complete only three activities so today we will complete only three activities preparation of soil then um, sowing then third adding manure and fertilizer only so first of all preparation of soil the preparation of soil is the first step before growing a crop one of the most important task in agriculture is to turn the soil and loosen it this allows the roots to penetrate deep into the soil the loose soil allows the root to breathe easily even when they go deep into the soil the loosened soil helps in the growth of earthworms and microbes present in the soil these organisms are friends of the farmer since they further turn the loosened soil and add humus to it you have learned in the previous classes that soil contains minerals water air and some living organisms in addition dead plants and organisms get decomposed by soil organisms in this way various nutrients held in the dead organisms are released back into the soil these nutrients are again absorbed by the plants since only a few centimeters of the top layer of soil supports plant growth turning and loosening of soil brings the nutrient rich soil to the top so that plants can use these nutrients thus turning and loosening of soil is very important for cultivation of crops The process of loosening and turning of the soil is called tilling or pluffing. This is done by using a pluff. Pluffs are made of wood or iron. If the soil is very dry, it may need watering before pluffing. The pluffed field may have big pieces of soil called crumbs. It is necessary to break these crumbs with the plank. the field is leveled for sowing as well as the irrigation purposes the leveling of soil is done with the help of a leveler sometimes manure is added to soil before tilling this helps in proper mixing of manure with soil the soil is watered before sowing our second agricultural practices is selection of seed and sowing of seeds so first before sowing the seed it is necessary to select the uh, very important to select the good quality seeds and clean and healthy seeds for a good variety farmers prefer to use seeds which give a high yield for selecting of seed the best way manner is that we can put some small seeds in a vessel and pour some water on them after a few minutes some seeds started to float on the top damaged seeds becomes hollow and are thus lighter and that's why they float on the water and thus we can separate the damaged fruit uh, seeds from the healthy seeds this is the good method for separating good healthy seeds from the damaged one now next step after the selecting the seed we have to sowing the seeds for sowing the seeds different methods are used in india uh, manual sowing is also the one of the method 
of the sowing used in India. Sowing is the process of placing seeds in the soil. Sowing may be done manually or with the help of an implement called seed drill. In the manual sowing, people are sowing by the only by directly by the hands. In manual sowing, this process involves directly sprinkling seeds into the soil. Seeds sown in the manner are distributed unevenly. Also, this method may not ensure that and seeds are shown at the correct depth. So, it is not much more useful method. The next method is the traditional sowing by using traditional tools. The tool used traditionally for sowing seed is shaped like a funnel. The seeds are filled into the funnel, passed down through two or three pipes having sharp ends. These ends pass into the soil and place seeds there. The next advanced method of sowing the seed is seed drill. Nowadays, the seed drill is used for sowing with the help of tractors. This tool sows the seeds uniformly at proper distances and depths. It ensures that seeds get covered by the soil after sowing. This prevents damage caused by birds. Sowing by using a seed drill saves time and labor. You should also know that seeds of a few plants such as paddy are first shown in a nursery. When they grow into plant, plantlets, they are transplanted in the field manually. Some forests plant and flowering plants are also grown in the nursery. An appropriate distance between the seeds is important to avoid overcrowding of plants. This allows plants to get sufficient sunlight, nutrients and water from the soil. Sometimes a few plants have to be removed to prevent overcrowding. The third main agricultural practices is adding manure and fertilizer. First, we should know what is manure and fertilizer. The substances which are added to the soil in the form of nutrients for the healthy growth of plants are called manure and fertilizers. But manure and fertilizers are not the same thing. Soil supplies mineral nutrients to the crop. These nutrients are essential for the growth of plants. In certain areas, farmers grow crop after crop in the same field, the field is never left uncultivated. Continuous cropping makes the soil poorer in certain nutrients. Therefore, farmers have to add manure to the field to replenish the soil with nutrients. This process is called manuring. Improper or insufficient manuring results in weak plants. Manure is an organic substance obtained from the decomposition of plant and animal waste. Farmers dump plant and animal waste in pits at open places and allow it to decompose. The decomposition is caused by some microorganisms. The decomposed matter is used as organic manure. You have already learned about vermicompost in the previous classes. Fertilizers are chemical substances which are rich in particular nutrients. Fertilizers are produced in factories. Some examples of fertilizers are urea, ammonium sulfate, superphosphate, potash, NPK. NPK means nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. The use of fertilizers helps helped farmers to get better yield of crops such as wheat, paddy and maize. But... Excessive use of fertilizers has made the soil less fertile. Fertilizers have also become a source of water pollution. Therefore, in order to maintain the fertility of the soil, we have to substitute fertilizers by organic manure or leave the field uncultivated in between two crops. The use of manure improves soil texture as well as its water retaining capacity. 
it replenish the soil with all the nutrients another method of replenishing the soil with nutrients is through crop rotation this can be done by growing different crops alternately earlier farmers in northern india used to grow legumes as fodder in one season and wheat in the next season this help in the replenishment of the soil with nitrogen farmers are being encouraged to adopt this practice in the previous classes you have also learned about rhizobium bacteria these are present in the nodules of the roots of leguminous plants they fix atmospheric nitrogen now we will study about the difference between fertilizers and manure the first difference fertilizer is an inorganic salt rather than manure is a natural substance obtained by the decomposition of cattle dung human waste and plant residues second difference is a fertilizer is, is prepared in factories manure can be prepared in the fields then third difference a fertilizer does not provide any humus to the soil manure provides a lot of humus to the soil and fourth and last difference is fertilizers are very rich in plant nutrients like nitrogen phosphorus and potassium while manure is relatively less rich in plant nutrients now we will study about the advantage of manure the organic manure is considered better than the fertilizer this is because it enhances the water holding capacity of the soil then it take it makes the soil porous due to which exchange of gases becomes easily then it increases the number of friendly microbes then last it improves the texture of the soil so now we come to end of this today's topic and we will discuss the exercise questions yes now it is the exercise questions for you you can give the answer in comment box first question it is the fill up question the first step before growing crops is dash of the soil b damage seed would dash on the top of water for growing a crop sufficient sunlight and dash and dash from the soil are essential then second question is explain how fertilizers are different for, from manure the next third question is write a paragraph in your own words on each of the following first a is preparation of soil and b is sowing question number 4 is if wheat is shown in the kharif season what would happen so today we discussed three activities of farming then remaining activities we will discuss in the next video uh, give your suggestion in comment box please like share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you